Hi, I'm Lisa Hitchcock. I'm your area warranty manager for Atlantic Builders. I am the person that's going to help you continue to love your home after you have moved in and started to get settled. I have the homes between Charlottesville, Stewart's Draft, Waynesboro, Afton, and anywhere else that they continue to build. So I would be the person that you will need to get to know once you get settled. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, I'm your person. First up, let's talk about the warranty that you have and the service that I'm going to be able to provide for you. Your new Atlantic Builders home includes a one-year warranty on the workmanship and the materials with things you can see, such as your flooring, your cabinets. You also have a two-year coverage on the parts and materials which you cannot see. For example, the plumbing behind the drywall, your electrical behind the drywall, and your HVAC behind the drywall. You'll be happy to know that Atlantic also includes a 10-year warranty on the structure of your home and a 10-year limited warranty on your HVAC system. Now keep in mind, you are required to fill out a registration card to receive that coverage on your HVAC system. Okay, let's talk about the emergency contacts. You may need them, you may not, but let's make sure you have the information available. The first thing you should know is all your emergency contacts are listed in your Atlantic Builders Homeowner Guide. Emergencies are defined and noted in red in your Homeowner Guide. These include total loss of heat, any gas leaks, water leaks which you cannot stop by shutting off the water at the valve, or total loss of electricity. If you have any of these emergencies, please contact us by the emergency line or call me directly on my cell. In addition to that, I also have taped the emergency number and contacts inside your cabinets. If you do have a water leak that you cannot shut off by the valve, please contact the plumber that is assigned to your community. Contact them immediately. Let me know also. If you are without heat, please contact your HVAC contractor, which is also listed and let them know so they can respond as quickly as possible. And again, please keep me in the loop. After you have contacted your contractor, please send me a text or an email, again, to keep me in the loop. After I have been notified that you have an issue, whether it's loss of heat or water leak, I will definitely be following up with you. Now let's talk about your HVAC. One of the most important things you can do to ensure your HVAC continues to run efficiently is to change your filters every 30 days. We highly recommend that you sign up for a service contract with your local HVAC provider. If you have an issue during normal business hours, you should contact your HVAC provider and then follow up with me with a text. And in case it's after hours, contact the number that is listed in your homeowner guide. All right, next up is what happens if you have a water leak. In the event of a water leak during normal business hours, be sure to first shut the valve off under the sink that controls the water flow. If you are unable to stop the leak by shutting the valve off under the sink, please go to the main water line and shut off the main valve supplying water to the home. Once you've done this, immediately contact your plumber to get them scheduled to come out. Then reach out to me, text me so I know what's going on and I can stay in the loop. Now let's talk about your septic system. All right, the first thing to know is that not all Atlantic Builder homes have a septic system. However, if your home does in fact have one, it will either be a conventional system or an alternative system. In both cases, the pump in the system is covered by warranty for two years. In the event of an emergency with your septic system, please reach out to our main office and also text me and let me know what's going on. You can also reach out to your septic contractor who is listed in your homeowner guide. If you hear an alarm going off on your septic system, 
go outside and press the red button to quiet the alarm. Then contact your septic contractor to have him come out and ensure the system is functioning properly. Keep in mind the alarm could be caused by something as simple as a toilet that's been running in your home, so always make sure to check that as well. If your home is equipped with an alternative septic system, it is required by law that you have a service contract in place and an inspection completed every single year. And no matter what type of system you have, you are required to have your tank pumped every five years. Okay, let's talk about your yard now. While exterior plantings are not covered by your warranty, there are steps that you can take to properly care for your lawn. To keep your lawn looking lush and green, you should fertilize, seed, and water your lawn. Keep in mind there will be areas of your yard that water travels through. This is by design. We cut swales in your yard to channel the water and help it flow away from your home. If you notice settlement in your yard that is greater than six inches, please contact us and we will come out and take a look at it, assess it, and address it. Next up, let's do your hose bibs. It's important to remember that exterior hose bibs are not covered by your warranty. So prior to winter, you should always winterize your hose bibs. This is very easy. Simply go to your mechanical room, locate the valves, which are going to be labeled hose bibs, and shut them off. Then go outside, remove the hose from the hose bib, open the valve so any residual water will drain out, and you're done. All right, let's talk about your driveway. If you have an asphalt driveway, we will give your driveway a second coat of asphalt approximately 12 to 18 months after your settlement. Prior to this second coat, if you notice any potholes forming or any deterioration of your driveway, please let us know so we can have them patched. That way, you will receive a nice clean sheet of asphalt on your driveway when we apply the second top coat. If you have a concrete driveway, please avoid using de-icers. These will cause your driveway to pit and deteriorate over time. On concrete, it's always better to use something mild like sand, which helps provide traction. All right, let's talk about your home if it comes with a well. If you have a well and a water treatment system, you'll need to make sure that you add salt to the system approximately every six to eight weeks. Adding salt to the system neutralizes the minerals in the water, which will help keep the water tasting good. All right, let's talk about your appliances. Your appliances are covered for one year. It's important that you register your appliances right away, and this is very easy to do. There is a QR code on the inside of every appliance. Simply scan the code with your phone and it will take you to the website where you can fill it out online and register your appliance. If you have any issue with one of your appliances, please reach out to the appliance contractor directly. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is your homeowner guide. While you are always welcome to call me with any questions regarding your warranty, it is super helpful to keep your homeowner guide handy as it covers everything that we've discussed today and more in greater detail. I encourage you to go through your guide page by page to familiarize yourself with all the helpful information it provides. One area in particular I like to point out is in the back of the guide where we have tips for maintaining your home during the different seasons of the year. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about your 60-day review. That's where you're gonna see me, and we'll have that date scheduled ahead of time. 
I will meet you at your final walkthrough, which is at the same time as your PSD, which is the day you go to closing. When I meet with you, it'll be a brief meeting. We will go over some basics about your warranty. I will address any questions that you may have. I'll address any concerns that you may have, but I will also ask you to schedule with me for your 60-day warranty review. That will be after you have moved in, you've gotten settled, any kind of questions, concerns, anything that is bugging you about your new home, I will do my best to make it go away, but we'll get it scheduled for a work date. Now let's talk about your 10 month review. After you've been in your home about nine months, you've gotten settled, you've moved in, I'm gonna reach out to you. I will text you, call you, email you. I will be trying to set up your 10 month warranty review. At this point, I will come out to your home. We will go over any concerns that need to be addressed, but it will also at that point include the repair of your drywall, nail pops, settlement cracks, anything that needs to be addressed at the 10 month, that will definitely be your drywall. Please keep in mind that this is a one-time service which is provided by Atlantic Builders during your first year of homeownership. All right, let's talk about the surveys now. This one is super important to me, but also to all of us. Surveys are critical not only to my performance review, but to our entire company's goal of continuous improvement. We use a third party survey company that will email you a survey at 30 days, six months, and 12 months after you have settled into your new home. Please remember we are just looking for honest feedback so that we can continue to improve our processes and the service that we provide to you and our future homeowners. All right, that's a wrap. I hope you found this helpful and I can't wait to meet you and I hope you continue to love your new Atlantic Builders home.